friends ready to go and amped up for what we have in store. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number nine team in the country, the Auburn Tigers, taking on another team from the SEC, the South Carolina Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. He'll bring it out. It's Peters. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. So the South Carolina Gamecocks offense is on the field for the first time today. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. The receivers don't usually lack confidence, and those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And that swagger sets the tone for this offense, and Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get... This guy's going to take it to the house. Defense in press coverage. The inside handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going, handing the ball. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And you don't want to see this trend continue. Last week he was sacked four times. The offensive line, this offense as a whole, needs to get in better situations, get rid of the football faster, and not keep getting their quarterback hit. The Gamecocks will call on their punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He's got great speed. And the returner will be knocked down. So the Auburn Tigers offense has its first opportunity of the day. One matchup to watch in this one is how well do the backers tackle in space, David. Yeah, and you've got to have great linebackers to get this guy on the ground. And they've got it. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. A lot of head-to-head -head battles, linebacker versus running back. Yeah, tackling him in space, but also covering him out of the backfield. These two dudes are going to be shadowing each other all game long. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Give to the running back. Can't get him to the ground. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, David. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes. And you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. Coming after it. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense, able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Quarterback sacks is a trend that this offense would like to put an end to pretty quick. Somehow they were able to win their last game out, even though they gave up four sacks in that one. That was a huge point of emphasis for this coaching staff. And here early in this one, first quarter, they've now already given up one. Auburn going to work with another first down. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Got enough space. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Tigers. It's as if every play call with this guy, you've got the play that's called. And if that doesn't work, something that might even be more dangerous. How nice is that as an offensive coordinator, right, Reese? You know that even if what you called isn't exactly going to work, this guy can just 
pull a rabbit out of the hat. He can go backyard football and just take off. Man, this guy is fun to watch. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was capped off with an impressive 16-yard run for the score. He'll bring it out. It's Peters. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? They've really performed at an elite level in conference play, and that'll build your confidence as we continue through this SEC season. And this was a team that was really motivated in the offseason coming into this one, and they knew the challenge ahead of them, but they also know how talented they are. And, David, they're putting that on display each and every week here in SEC play. And let's pump the brakes, because if they're, if they're happy with what they've done so far, they're going to have some losses. Like, this is a tough league. The SEC is not easy to navigate. They're going to have to continue to grow and get better, but it's a heck of a start. Sweet feet on the move. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. They stop him cold. Maybe gets a yard to the 34. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? He'll keep it himself. Still on his feet at the 45. Open runway ahead. Inside the 10. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecock. And the defense was trying to figure out all the options and try to get everything stopped. And the quarterback said, you better stop me first. He takes the football, takes it to the house. How about this QB making magic happen with his feet? Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Smashes it through for the PAT. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And he knows how to finish in style. A 66-yarder to the house. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Slips through the line. Dynamic on kick returns, and that one puts his offense in business. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Get it out on the screen. No siree. Not this time. The defense was there and ready for that one. Well, they're trying to set up the screen pass to the running back. Just nowhere to go after he caught the football. The defense completely swarmed around him, and that's a loss. Here comes the offense on second down. Back to the quarterback. Oh, and he can't hold the pitch, and the ball's loose. And what a great job by the defense, securing the wide receiver, getting the football out, getting it on the deck, and that coming if it didn't bounce right back to the offense. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Getting some heat. Let's it fly. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. 
Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And he is knocked down immediately after the catch. That punt coverage team had its hair on fire. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Shakes off the defender. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. To the ground with the back. At the 45 on his way. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big kickoff and a first down for this offense. Leaves it with the running back. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, just nothing doing on that last run, and they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better running the football. Going to try to get it himself. Just slithered through the tackle, and he's got room to run. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. Well, no surprise there on defense, right? You know the QB is going to be trying to target this guy. Nice job in coverage forcing that incompletion. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield, it's Allen. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. You know, this linebacker is a special player because not only is he good making tackles in the open field, this guy can cover, and you saw a great example of it with that running back. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. You're not going to win a lot of games if you can't protect your quarterback. In their last game, they got sacked four times, lost the game. And so far in this one, they're having difficulty again. These guys up front have got to do a better job communicating and giving their QB time. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he'll need to curl this one in from 44 yards out on the right hash. Good right down the boulevard. Now, there is a flag down on the play, but when first you knock for a foul. field goal from that distance and you're not going to get the first down, I think you just keep your points. Might be the worst-case scenario for this defense. Thought they'd held them to three. Now the offense with a chance for more. Entertaining first quarter, and we are all locked up after one as we take a quick look at some stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. Got it. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. He's looking to throw it. He makes the connection. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You can...
jogging over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. Makes the grab. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Going for six. And he's got it. Touchdown, South Carolina. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Charlotte fell behind early, and it's been an uphill climb since. Thing is, this is a program that's worked the portal about as well as anyone. These kids are tough and could just find a way. They're trailing by just four to Ole Miss. We'll circle back if anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Running back goes in motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. They'll go to the ground. Bulls his way forward. Tackled there by the defense. These are the ones in the stands where you get booed if it doesn't work. Why would you run the ball in second and long? You stink, OC, or you get the big applause and you're like, yes, nice job. Keeping the manageable third down situation. Good call. So tough spot to be in in second and long. Nice answer. Nice run by the running back. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. This Auburn offense doing work. They're set up with another first down. Thomas back to pass. He wants to go deep. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Yeah, and it's a nice decision by the quarterback when you run these RPOs. Man, if you can give it to him and you can get such positive yards like that, continue to do it. Make that defense react a different way. Then I'll throw the football. He's going to run it. Keeps it himself and gets the first. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It's going to be tough on this defense containing this guy because he's got that sixth sense to get outside the pocket, and at that point, he's throwing it and hurting you, or you can take off and run. That time, able to get the first down. Big challenge for the defense. Move. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game, but finally now... They can't corral the pitch. The ball's on the ground. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. On first down, here comes this offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Crosses the 30. He's got away. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Gamecock. And QBs love their big tight ends, and especially guys that can do such great things after the catch. He catches it. Dang, Paul, he looks like a bag of receiver after he catches the football. What a matchup nightmare, too, man. I mean, he's just too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. If I'm this QB, I'm looking that guy's way a lot more often. Than this nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. 
Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Paul, we're kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, I got to put some good possessions together here and make something happen on this side of the field. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. There's got to be a sense of urgency for this offense right now. They're trailing. They're going to be kicking off to open the second half. So they need points. They need to go tempo. Maybe that last first down gets them a little bit of confidence. Fires to the big fella. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Thomas looking to fire. Still on his feet. The sweet feet buy a little time. So close to a huge gain there, but he makes the catch out of bounds. It's incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. He wants to throw it again. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Man, this quarterback is going to need an ice bath when this game is over because he is getting whacked. We've seen him go down. He's been sacked time and time again. He just got time to take a shot. And he's got it inside the 25. That tells you a lot about their confidence in this quarterback. Fourth down early in the game on your own end, and you go for it. But when you make decisions and throws like that, it's easy to see why. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. And the Tigers will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. They're trying to get to him. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. And giving up three sacks a week ago. Now you've already given up four sacks. they got to find a way to protect their quarterback. Give him a little bit more time. They're working that left side. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play a lot of the basically for you. But you got to find a guy that you can throw to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Pocket starts to collapse. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Wants to throw on first down. Quick completion on the out route. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, but he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Grabbed over the middle. It's Duarte. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And the ball is intercepted. He'll try to take it back. He steps out of bounds, but not only does he get the ball back, what a return to set up his offense. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job 
breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Starting to feel a little pressure. He chucks one out to the right. Grabs it inside the 10. Run out of bounds after the long game, but they've got it now first and goal. He came into this year with big expectations. Everybody expecting him to stat it up. And now with that last completion, He's already over 2,000 yards passing for the season. And that big gainer on the last one has him ready to go from inside the 10. Thomas back to pass. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They are going to be a problem for defenses all year long. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Line gets set, first down. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Leaves it with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Clock still running, almost certainly the last play of the half. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one so far from there in Columbia. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at williams Price. Inside the 10. Here he comes. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Finally pushed out of bounds at the 45. And what good field position after that return. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Tight game as we start the third quarter. And we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. Now on first down from the 40. 
the give to the single back. Some belief in that running game as they pick up five to the 35-yard line. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You know, if you want to run the ball up the middle, you're going to have to block that guy. I mean, nobody even touched him, and he slanted right into the backfield, made the tackle for that. Complete to the right. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. The Tigers are on the move. Back to the ground game on the left. Powers through the defender. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. Thomas looking to fire. Feeling some heat. On the run, still looking. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Second and goal for this offense. He finds his man. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Man, and you see those sticks, and you're like, dude, third and short. I just got to fall forward and get the first down, Palmer. But the defense comes up big and gets the stop. So on offense, don't overthink this one. Touchdown, Auburn! An epic comeback. They'll talk about this one forever if they can hold on, but they're on top right now. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in game. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Utah is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Alex Smith, and they are right back in this. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to BYU. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And this is a defense that I think is really feeling themselves right now, especially after some of the good things they did in that first half. And getting a sack right away in the opening play of the third quarter, that's got to get the juices flowing. And you know after that, they're going to keep this pass rush coming. They'll try to find a more productive play this time on second and long from the 14. He's looking to throw. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Keep bringing the heat like that, and you can fall in line with the likes of Derrick Brown or Nick Fairley. Man, I, I still remember that Nick Fairley season where he put the, the defense on his back. Cam Newton took care of the offense, but he ruled the defense, making big plays, getting in the backfield, getting after quarterbacks you make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this third and long from inside their own 20 looking to throw and he needs a bunch using the back as a receiver on the screen
weren't able to gain a lot of real estate on that last completion deep down in their own end. If anything, if you're looking for a silver lining, I guess the punter maybe has a little bit more room to try to get one off now on fourth. He'll bring it back. It's Pew. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the... And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. The give to the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Stop just inside the 30 and the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. The give to the tailback. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. He'll try a second field goal. This one, a 37 yarder. Right down the boulevard, it's good. So, after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Peters. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Good surge up front. Give him four out to the 18. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll run it again. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Caught near the sticks. It's Allen. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets it up on the catch for the first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. Quarterback on the keeper. Pass the first down marker and still running. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. The Gamecocks are moving quickly down the field. 
The back goes in motion. Fights off the defender. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball down here anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And I got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Quickly out to the tight end. I'm the big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. Line to set on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Duarte. And this defense, his head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Out of the gun, the inside give. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Auburn has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Grab behind the line. It's Allen. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players like this. And now, fourth quarter, four down territory, almost certainly, as they get ready to try to grab the lead. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. Snagged in the middle. It's Duarte. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. A touchdown here on third and goal really ratchets up the game pressure. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Right down the boulevard. It's good. And that's massive. All the pressure on your defense now. You've made the field goal. You've got to get the ball back. You need one more kick. That's what you need. And so the defense has to be ready to take the field right now, play with intensity, play with energy, and get it back to the offense quickly. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you've got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. On the move at the 30. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Pressure coming. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble and down he goes. A tremendous loss. What can they pull out of the playbook here on second and long from the 17? They're bringing heat. Trying to escape and get it himself. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Well, that's just an amazing individual effort, trying to get back as much yardage as possible to set up a third and manageable situation, right? Nice job in the open field, understanding the situation. You obviously... He unleashes a long one. Oh, did he toast the coverage? Got it deep downfield. And it's loose. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Man, I, I can't do that here, right? I got the football. I got the lead. The clock is my friend, and now I cough it up. Offense, I have to understand the situation. I have to understand, I got to get to the ground. I can make sure I don't fight for extra yards. I make sure I don't fumble, costly fumble. And the 
South Carolina. A timeout here as this coach is challenging the call. He wants to give the replay booth the chance to have another look. The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not. The challenge is denied, and the timeout is gone. They'll snap this one to start the drive from their own 22. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. This has got to be frustrating if you're the offensive coordinator because you've had receivers open down the field, just haven't had time to get them the football. This defense doing an outstanding job with their pass rush. He's looking for a man on second down. They're setting up the screen. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. All the way out to the 37-yard line. It's a gain of 15. The analytics nerds will tell you that a four-yard pickup on first down is a successful play. Let's see what they have on first and ten. Makes his connection. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Look at the pass. Pass. Defense. 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 I bet it felt good to hit that quarterback late. Until you got an earful from the coach and cost your defense 15, the offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. And a touchdown here would not only give them the lead, but in the fourth quarter, that ramps up the pressure. Looking to throw it again. Fires to the tight end. Goes out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they'll be set up and in great position here. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Touchdown, Gamecocks! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Man, I love this offense, being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and, more importantly, take the lead. point is good and every point counts it's now a four point lead in the fourth and let's check in with kevin connors in the studio kevin dynamite matchup this week fellas let's show you what's going down houston is just getting blown off the field right now in h-town and at this rate i'm not sure this won't get worse they're trailing by 14 to Texas Tech. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Let's see how aggressive this defensive coordinator is with the lead in just a few minutes left. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this. Going to take a shot. Snatches it on the run. A giant chunk of yardage picked up there and there down to the 24. He's been a matchup problem all season long. Defenses just don't know how to solve the puzzle. And with that last catch, over 500 yards receiving now on the year for him. On 
That last big play has them in business. Just outside the red zone, it's first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Able to make the stop after a gain of two to the 22. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Power football with the run. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. So now the opportunity to take the lead with a first and goal here. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight. Touchdown, Auburn! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch, in those big moments and right before the half, in the fourth quarter late in the game, just like right here. You need a score. You've got to go take the lead. They do everything they can. Now, defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And the extra point is good. They're up by three, and a field goal would just bring us even. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. He'll start this drive firing. Quickly complete. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. Looking to move it through the air. Pulls it in. It's Peters. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. He'll be tackled at the 49 after a pickup of five. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. He's looking to throw it. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waning moments. That could be a costly play. Remember, all they have to do is get it close enough for a field goal here. On second down, he'll let it fly. Finds the tight end. And they're able to make the tackle. The offense will quickly use a timeout. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. And they'll get to the line and spike it to stop the clock. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming. So they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they're going to try to get to him with pressure, pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. You better get rid of this one quick. Trying to burn this defensive back. Late in the game, they've got the lead. They know the opponent's going to throw the football to all areas of the field. That time in the middle, he was right there, almost came away with that interception. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And he is finding wide-open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. 
when you're down late in the game and you got to make plays, it's really tough not to force the football. You could tell quarterback forces the football. Defense comes up with a huge interception. ready to go back to work on offense. Now we've got a little game pressure, and we'll see how the offense responds in a three-point game, Jesse. I can't wait to see this quarterback and how he's going to be able to handle that pressure, David. How will he respond in this situation? And just knowing, listen, I'm only up by three now. If I can make this a two-score game, I can almost put this away in the fourth quarter. It came down to the final quarter. Much plays, guys delivered, and they get the close win. Yeah, Reese, big-time players make big plays in big games, and that's what happened in this circumstance. As a coaching staff, David, you love this. You know that you have confidence in your guys to go out and be able to execute when it matters the most. Correct, and you don't know until the games, right? You don't know when those moments present themselves. How are they going to handle it? Great job handling the close game, executing down the stretch like they needed to. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.